Hi, welcome back to Crypto Mischief. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What about sunrise? What about rain? What about all the things you send the world again? Or did you ever stop to notice all the blood we shed before? Did you ever stop to notice the crying earth and weeping the shores? Welcome back to Crypto Mischief. Hope you enjoyed that sing-along. Can't believe I hit that high note. Fantastic. <laughs> this is a sponsor video from my new friends and partnership at Care Earth, a environmental cryptocurrency on the Binance Smart Chain with a difference, with an actual tangible product, okay? This is going to be a fair launch token in five days, so one to look out for. Today we're going to talk about what the project is, how the token works, how to buy it, and what is in store for the future of Care Earth. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so this is the landing page for Care Earth. We care, a cryptocurrency with a purpose. I'll leave the link for this in the description plus the token address so that you, there's no confusion if you do decide to buy this or not. By the way, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. I am not your daddy. Take these risks on your own. Win them on your own, lose them on your own, okay? Cryptocurrency is high risk. Always take proper risk management strategy whenever investing in anything that is intangible. Coming to this page here, here's the nice logo. Pretty nice logo for Care Earth. This is a really impressive website. They've put a lot of thought and care <laughs> into this website. Up the top here, you can see all their socials. Uh, I suggest you get into their uh, Telegram or into their Twitter to find more about this token as it develops. This here is the fair launch timer. We have five days, one hour, 42 minutes and five seconds until this launches fairly on the Binance Smart Chain. What does that mean? That means that it's just gonna launch. There's no pre-sale, okay? So when this ticker goes down, they will launch it at the liquidity and you will be able to buy it. So I suggest you copy this here and then you pop to your MetaMask on the Binance Smart Chain, go down to the bottom, add token, then you can pop the token in here. I've already added it, but it will say there to add, right? The benefit of a fair launch is that without any pre-sale, there will be no bag holders to dump on you if you do get in early. So that's always a nice thing. There are a bunch of environmental cryptocurrency tokens on the Binance Smart Chain, and a lot of them are similar in tokenomics, and have the same problem, okay? The problem they have is that, for example, if there was, I don't know if there is, a, a cryptocurrency token that aims to plant more trees in the world and uh, help the earth in that way, generally there's a high slippage on the token when you want to buy it. From that high slippage tax, some of that tax gets taken into the fund for helping this charity or helping this token's uh, environmental concern. Often with these tokens, it's not very obvious and clear what is being done with that money. Is it being spent in the right way? And it's hard for people to get behind it because they can't see the, the progress it's making. Care Earth have attempted to solve this problem in a very clever way. Let's get into it. Making a change. Care Earth sets itself apart from most other DeFi tokens by having an actual project behind it. Our goal is to raise awareness of the amount of pollution in the world and show that all of us can do our part in tackling the problem. In order to do so, we have introduced a completely new take on crypto mining. That's right, mining. You can exchange your environmental cleaning services for Care Earth tokens. Clean up something that you will be rewarded in Care Earth. You are mining cryptocurrency by cleaning the world. One of the biggest issues that people have with cryptocurrencies is that they don't see the immediate purpose. All the see our great things promised for the future. Yeah, we're always talking about the future. This is going to be great when it's launched, massively adopted, whatever. But all of these are pure speculation. What they're trying to do here is make something that is tangible and in the now, okay? This is already working. So here we have their cleanups page. What exactly are they doing here? First, the developers of the team will be doing most of the cleaning projects themselves in the beginning. Those will be documented by taking pictures and videos 
and displaying them on this page. For example, here we have a project where they found this big mess. Look at that mess, terrible. And they cleaned it up, okay? So what would you do as a cleaner? You would find a mess, a polluted area, a beach, a forest, okay, a cityscape, and you would document it, send it to Clean Earth right now. They would verify it, and then after you clean it, they would reward you in tokens. After a while, they are also going to make this more streamlined with an app. You can get in touch with them about cleaning by emailing them here. Here's their address. All the, the links will be in the description for you. They're going to live stream their first cleaning projects to announce who the token development team are. Okay, so this will be a little bit later on. They will show their faces, which is always a good sign for a cryptocurrency. To talk a little bit about the tokenomics, as I said, probably there's a slippage on this, and there is. It's a 10% transaction fee on this token. So that means if you buy 100 tokens, you will only get 90. 10 of them are taxed. What happens with this tax? Well, 4% is an RFI style holder reward, okay? That means that 4% of each transaction goes to all token holders, which means you're getting more and more tokens simply by holding. This is also a way of burning tokens as the burn wallet is one of the holders. So it is deflationary and it has RFI technology inside it. 2% of each transaction from that 10% uh, goes back into a liquidity pool a la Safe Moon tokenomic. The liquidity tokens will be burned following the fair launch and the liquidity pool will be locked forever. And 4% of that goes to the cleanup reward, marketing and to charity. You can check their white paper and the cleanup page to see how this is developing. They're going to be posting every cleanup on their cleanup page. Their live streams will also be on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, etc. For the roadmap, because we we're just at the beginning of this, we've even we're in before launch. <laughs> I like this, it's got the world completely destroyed and dirty in then by quarter four, they're gonna have to save the planet. Can we save the planet with Care Earth? Yes, we can. The website launch and white paper release have been done in quarter one. What we have to do next for this project, so it's a year long roadmap we have here. The token launch, the marketing campaign like this, uh, listed on CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, Community Growth, the first cleaning project by the developers and the developers' public introduction. That's very important, okay? If we pop to their white paper and we have a look at our crew, it says that the developers of this token will be introduced at the first live-streamed environment cleaning project, which is quite cool. You know, it's a nice way to get publicity and to, again, make more people buy this token so that people can profit and also we can help clean the earth. As the quarters get going, the cleanup projects are going to begin to be uh, bigger, yeah, and more team-based. They will be live streaming various cleaning projects, partnering up with international influencers to provide a helping hand in the marketing. So, and as they get to quarter three, they will try attempt to get on TV, newspaper, and radio interviews, finding more ways to raise awareness about the project. Uh, they will hire... In quarter three, they're going to begin developing the app. So this app is going to be a long time down the road. By quarter four, they are looking for new cleaning projects almost weekly, the successful launch of the app, and they want to get listed on Binance by quarter four. That is very ambitious. And their white paper is here. I suggest you read through the white paper carefully before you think even about investing in this project. And one funny thing I found in the white paper is that the developer of this token believes, or is suggesting, that... Possibly the, the Pandy, yeah, the old Rona, was actually caused by pollution and the Earth fighting back against the evil people. So to protect us from another Pandy, <laughs> we should clean the Earth. <laughs> Quite controversial thought there, but okay, possibly, who knows. This will be a breakdown of the to tokenomic launch here. We have 57% for sale on PancakeSwap. 33% initially burnt, team share 5, marketing share 5. Like I said, this is on the Binance Smart Chain, so to purchase this, you would copy the address here, and you want to have a look. Um, of course, it's not listed yet, but what you'll do is you'll paste the token in here. The token will then appear after it is fair launched. You want to go up to here and set your slippage to 10%. Okay, Because it is a fair launch, the likelihood of this, uh, if it does take off and it's extremely popular, then you're probably going to have to put up to about 11 or 12% slippage to get the transaction through. Uh, as a example of what could, what you could see with the launch of this, this is another environment token called Clean Ocean. It launched back in April, and you can see the launch of this token was quite meteoric, okay? It did have, it has had an extremely long amount of dumping since it did launch, um, but it is a successful uh, token which is actually 
doing something for the environment. As you can see here, it still has uh, 17,000 holders of this token. Almost, that was about a three week uh, pump that this one did have. Of course, that was in the height of the bull market. Of course, I have partnered with this token, so I would say that I do trust them, and I am excited for the launch to see what this project will bring to the environment and to caring for the world and making our Earth a better, cleaner place. Okay, that is today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't get wrecked. <laughs>